Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Kogyols Nation. My name is Secret Agent Ichino Kogyols. I'm the founder and the director of the Kogyols Industry Spy Network and the Kogyols Nation. So, you want to play a well-made, old, block-stacking game that is open source, and you don't want to play Tetrio because you're not offline, or you don't want to play Technio, which is the newest block stacking project that is offline. Well, have I got the game for you. It's a little known game called Null Pomino. You may have seen me play it twice on the channel before. Once when I was using Garud Linux, and once when I was using Linux Mint, which I'm currently using Mint 21. This is going to be how to compile Null Pomino from source on Linux. Now there are a couple of dependencies. The first one is going to be Maven, which looks like this. This will be required in order to just build the project as per the usual. And then you will also need OpenJDK8. I will actually bring up Synaptic just so I know which package I need for OpenJDK8. Okay, for the looks of things, it'll be OpenJDK-8-JDK. And you'll want to install like that. These two are going to be required. I have also gotten the game onto Lutris. I've shown you how to do this a couple of times, so I will not need to do that again. But anyway, we will want to install these two items. I have already done so, so I am good there. Now, I will actually need to get another terminal up. We will need to get the source code from GitHub. And I have to add a dot get. This will be the command to use to grab any source code project. And this is going to take a little bit of time. But while I am explaining that, I will place this over to the top right hand corner. I'm going to hit Control Alt and T because there's another thing you're going to need to do. Once you have Java installed and probably rebooted or at least logged out to make the Java changes possible, you will need to do a quick sudo update dash uh, what update dash alternatives dash dash config and then you will want to go into java not kava java kava is something different kava is not even a programming language <laughs> anyway so you'll want to do that but i actually have a little alias called ch dash java Yes, I know, I'm weird. But essentially, this will allow you to change the version of Java you use. You will be using OpenJDK 11 as your primary, but once you get other versions of Java, you can switch these if you want. So right now, I'm just going to keep the selection number, which is number two for me. But if you do not have the selection yet, yeah, you'll know by that asterisk, if you have the current selection, you want to make sure you choose number two or whatever number you have to get OpenJDK8. So do keep that in mind. So now that we've got the source code of the game, we'll want to change into that directory. And then I'll do a quick ls. You'll see, you'll want to head, if you're on Linux, into nullpomino-parent. These are all instructions from the actual website, which will be linked in the description below. It will take you to the GitHub page for this game, the latest version, which is 7.6. And then there's a quick ls. Okay, there's just a pom.xml, but you'll want to do a command called mvn, which stands for maven package. And then this will download all the packages needed for this game. So the build was actually successful. Then we do a quick ls. You'll want to go into nopumino run. Okay, this is the one you'll want to be in. You'll want to be in nopumino, nopumino dash run, target and install. That's the one you'll want. I'm going to change that real quick. And then there are multiple versions of this. I actually have a different build of the game 
It looks like I have the slick version, so I was correct in taking out the swing version of the game. So I'll need to head to target, install. I have placed slick. You can do that if you want, but there's another uh, command you can use for that. It'll be ch mod plus x play underscore swing. Oh, it's slick, not swing, slick. And then period forward slash play underscore slick. If I can do it right. And then no Pumino will launch as per the usual. And that's how you do no Pumino on Linux from source. Keep that in mind, this is from source. Now, if you are on an Arch based system, you will definitely be able to get the game, I think, from the get, and then you'll have to compile everything yourself. Well, with the AR helper, that's fine. Uh, but if you are on Ubuntu, you are going to have to build this from source. But at least I can use this version. I think I can call it no Pumino modded because I'm going to try and put mods on this thing and make sure I can get the mods correct. But that being said, that's going to be it for today's video. If you like this video and want to see one like this in the future, you can do this one of five ways. You can hit the like button to show your support to the Koyos Nation. Hit the subscribe button to become a member of the Coyotes Nation. Hit the bell icon to be notified when new episodes arrive every Thursday afternoon at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You can also comment on all of our videos. All videos are open for comment. And last but not least, you can share this channel with your family and friends and get them into Linux gaming. But that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I'm out of time for today's video. Thank you and good night. You thought I was done yet, right? Nah, I don't think so. Here's a couple of bonus tips if you want to play against a CPU, because there are AI in this game. You will want to head to your options section, hit the right arrow using the default controls to do the player two section. Go into, I think it's under either joystick setting or keyboard setting, whichever one you want. I have it under joystick setting and then I do, let me do an input test real quick of this controller. Yep, okay, good. That's the one. Uh, enter to exit. And then what I'm going to do is hit a button setting. I have the A button, if I'm not mistaken, set to one. So, which is gonna be circle on my PlayStation 4 controller. And I will hit enter, go back, and then I will go into AI setting in the same way. I currently have this set to PoochieBot, uh, version 1.25. I'm sure there are going to be some better bots out there. I'm going to have to do some searching for that. But anyway, I'll do AI move delay set to 7, for instance. Um, you'll want to start with 10 if you want to practice against this bot. This is the defensive version. There is an offensive version of this bot, so I think this is like the all-around version. I'm going to do that. Uh, you'll want to set the move delay and think delay both to 10, but you can move down the move delay if you want to get a little faster. So I'll set it down to seven. You want to use the thread and always have free think on. Both of these are gonna be turned on. That said, we will head to start and then I'm gonna do a quick first to three versus battle. So I will do that. And I'm gonna be using the standard fast B today. Just to show you this actually works. And as you can see, the bot on the right hand side of your screen is working as it should. And all you have to do is press uh, the A button for your bot on the second player's controller. There you go. That is one bout to zero. I'm gonna hit circle again. Let's do DT Cannon. Of course, I do play Guideline Tetris. I've been doing that somewhat every day. I've been doing it somewhat consistently, though I haven't been playing Tetrio in too long. I haven't done that in a while, so I definitely need to get back into it, but that's just me. Doesn't look to be working. I think I've botched my opener. That's fine. 
two to zero. And then of course we're gonna do three and out. Or let's try to do three and out, no round brown. No round brown, for those that don't know, is a fighting game term. In the FDC, that basically means you prevent your opponent from winning even once in a set. That's what no round brown is. It's a decently old concept, and there you go. I was able to do a sweep, or what we call in the FTC, no round brown. But that's going to be it for me. Thank you, and good night again.